going to try to do a tomato soup and add in carrots and some other things. I'm going to wing it as I go. And in the end, I'm going to can this soup. As many of you might already know, I'm planning on moving out of my home. It actually closes in a couple days, at the end of this week. And um, I'm trying to clean out my freezer and get everything ready that can be usable on the road. I have several things that I, I am going to attempt to accomplish today. I have a turkey in the sink that I've cut into parts and that I need to process in some way. And I am making a tomato soup when, and I'm going to use carrots, a little bit of celery, a little bit of everything. I don't have an exact recipe and I'm going to wing it and do it as I go. <laughs> I have here my Instapot Vortex Omnia Plus oven. And it has air fryer, roast, broil, bake, toast, reheat, proof, dehydrate, and it has a rotisserie also. And I can't fit everything I need to in, so I've, I've put um, Himalayan pink salt and ground pepper on these vegetables. And I'll do the second set of vegetables second time through, but I've got to roast these first. And I also I am testing out something that I just got. This is an EcoFlow Delta Pro, and it's it's on its side here. I have it plugged in. I've only used it for a few minutes for one test, and I'm going to see how well it'll run this 1500 watt Instapot Omnia oven. So let's get this in the oven and go. I'm guessing I'll want to put it on roast and I I've already preheated it a few minutes but it'll still need another minute or two to come back up to heat let's do thirty minutes we'll hit start today I'm going to be cooking in my oven using for power my EcoFlow Delta Pro. I bought it off Kickstarter and I've just had it, oh, probably one to two weeks. And I've only used it once for a few minutes. So I'm going to try for a half hour at 1500 watts and see where this takes me. As some of you know, I'm closing on my house in a couple days and then I have a couple weeks to move out and I'm going to hit the road and travel and this is going to be my power source. And that's one reason why I'm testing these items today to see how they work with my Delta Pro. It's 3600 watt hours. Okay, let's see how it heats up. 14, 36, watts is what it's running at and we're starting at 91 percent. We'll see how long this takes to roast my vegetables and how much power that we might use out of this. I was too late to catch it but it had slowed down and it was pulling 39 watts just for a short time. So I guess it goes on and off as needed. So here I have about 10 romas and two onions that I've chopped up and I put salt and pepper on and I'm going to put them in this bowl and toss them with olive oil for the next set. There we go, there's another example. It's pulling 39 watts. But most of the time it's pulling the full wattage. Let's see if we can see inside. Looks like it's browning because I do have it up high. Let's stop and check them at 20 minutes here. It's been cooking for 10. Mmm. 
those are done, tight. Ready for the tomatoes and onions next. Let's see. I've used 10% and 10 minutes. I have all my dishes packed, so I'm gonna put these on here. Separate these onions a little better. Let's get a little of the olive oil. Got the salt and pepper on it already. Just wanted to toss it in olive oil. And then load it on here. Running out of space. I'm considering taking this Omnia oven with me on the road as I travel. I think it will be nice having an oven. And now that I know that my Delta Pro will run it, I'm really excited about that. Um, I have several EcoFlow products and I have found the company to be easy to deal with. I haven't had any problems. I have two. R600 Pros from the Kickstarter, oh, I don't know, a year and a half ago or something like that. And I also have a very small river. It's not the Max or the Pro, it's just the small one. Let's try this. But the only thing I lack is having solar panels charging them. The, the neat thing about the Delta Pro though is that I can charge it with an EV charger at a at an EV station or I can do solar or I can do a wall outlet or a 12 volt outlet. Okay so 19-20 minutes on that. Let's see what the Echo Flow Delta Pro is doing. We're starting at 81% and it's pulling 14.50 here. We'll come back in 10 minutes. The first half of the tomatoes and the onions are done. Don't those look good? Okay, now I'll do the second half. Okay, I have the rest of the tomatoes and onions in there. I think this one I'm going to do. 11 or 12 minutes here and get them a little bit more crispy. Here we go. I can't say how many carrots will be left by the time the rest of the vegetables are ready because they sure are good. We have added oh two and a half three cups of water here and about three large teaspoons of better than bouillon chicken. I have my vegetable one packed and I'm gonna add that in here. Let's put a little bit of garlic, minced garlic. Let's put one big spoon. Oh, maybe make that two teaspoons. And I'm just playing it by ear here. You always need a little bit of sugar to balance out the acid. Uh, let's put 
probably, let me open that up. Whoops, spilt it all. One, two teaspoons of Italian herb. Seasoning, Italian seasoning. And this is cumin. I love cumin. And let's put one teaspoon to start and see how that goes. And I'm going to add a little bit of red pepper flakes. I want it when I serve it. That's probably less than a half a teaspoon. I haven't used this in so long I don't remember how. Okay, we started off on a lower one. We have it plugged in to the Delta Pro and I'm going to bring you closer so you can see. The Vitamix it actually heats it up. Okay, we're finished here, and we're going to taste it. Let's put you back over here. i got to get that turkey on. Ooh, that is hot inside there. Now most people strain theirs. For one, my strainer's packed away and for another, I think I'd rather have all the nutrients there and I'm going to test this. I'm sure it's kind of supposed to be for canning, not for eating. I'm going to add a little bit of course, it has the foam on there that wouldn't normally be there. Let's give it a taste. It's good. I think it's a little bit strong on the cumin. Maybe I should have put a half a teaspoon or a third of a teaspoon in there, but it's not bad. It's pretty good. And I did add a little bit more water. I probably have a total of four cups of water. Well, when I say water, it was with the three heaping teaspoons of better than bouillon added to the water. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you enjoyed seeing how my Delta Pro, how it works when I use these different appliances. Please subscribe for more videos like this.